among them prophets. So these are creation of God, that God raises them to convey a message from him. So these prophets, like Moses, for example, is a prophet. Do you agree? Yes. This prophet Moses is a creation of God. Do you agree? Yes. Right. So do you know of any prophet that God has sent before Moses that wasn't a creation of God? Okay. In the Bible, Jesus in the Old Testament Jesus pointed to as the Messiah. Excuse me. A prophet. You didn't hear what I said. No. Do you know of any prophets? Do you know of any prophets before Moses that God has sent who was not a creation of God? Because here, in Ezekiel 34, excuse me, God excuse me, a shepherd. Okay, so God says he, he himself is going to be a shepherd because he sent many prophets and they didn't do the work. So he says in Ezekiel 34, I myself will, will shepherd my sheep. This yes. is Ezekiel 34. So yes. I asked you so because this, so Jesus, Jesus was raised up. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is much later. Don't Jesus bring Jesus in here. Excuse me. Right. Jesus here in this passage says. A prophet like unto you, Moses. Wait here and listen. Listen to me. Excuse me, can listen. I make my point? No, no, let me make my point. Did you hear my question? No, let me make my point. Now, I've Go been ahead. listening to you for the last So you've understood my question, right? And quite frankly, it's I waffle. my nerves. Yeah. I waffle. Yes, you do waffle. Now, this okay. is talking about Deuteronomy 18, I waffle. 18. It's talking about Jesus. That's your claim. Right? And he's gonna, this messenger is going to be like Moses. Now, you look at the message of Moses, mm -hmm. and you look at the message of Jesus. No, 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 you're, you're moving on. Then you can look at the message of Muhammad. Sorry, sorry, which sorry. Which does not even sorry. fit. No, no. You, it does not even you know, fit. You've gone too and this far. is to you, Excuse and me. all you Muslims and now, now, and to even the whole world. You're preaching now. The message you're of preaching. Muhammad and the message that Moses brought are from um, east to west. That's not really fair, is but it? But the message Jesus Instead brought... Instead of having a discussion with me, you're preaching. The message that preaching. Jesus brought fits the message of Moses. Listen, we Listen are... In the Mosaic law, mm -hmm. the Levitical We haven't law moved on. Why have you moved on? You passed your You're waffling. You're waffling well, stop, stop, stop. About stop. childish stuff. Please. Creation. You are fast race, forwarding. We're getting nowhere. You are fast forwarding. Uh, sorry, mate. I've got no patience for this. Then why yeah. are you talking to me then? No, no, because you're. If you don't have any patience, why are you talking to me? Let me talk to you. I'll you. I'll talk to you and him at the same time. If you don't have any patience, why are you speaking to me in the first place? Answer the question. Okay. He's helping me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Listen, my friend. No. With all respect to you. No, listen. You listen. I will listen. Carry on. Right. Now, you tell me who does this refer to. Thank you. And you tell me why. Can you tell me when you finish? I'll finish. Good. I'm listening. Good. You're going to answer my question. Thank you. You finished, you Are said. Are you going to answer my you question? You said you're finished. He hasn't finished. Tell me when you finish. I have. When you finish, you don't talk. Okay. My claim was this. Yeah. The brother was asking you, who do you think he refers to? You couldn't answer that question, could you? You didn't want to. I'm waiting for him to say I'm finished. I finished, bro. Oh, thank you. Now my turn. So I started by. I'm not going to answer. No, he's not finished. You have a move on. He's not finished. You have a move on no. to the crux. I'm not going to stand here listening to your how you make a case. Clearly not finished. How you create. Have you say? Go on. How you create that? Continue. Or raise this up. Continue. Yeah? So go on, carry on. Are you absolutely sure you're finished? Yeah? You're not going to interrupt? I may do, if you start waffling again. Is this fair? No. no. I will give you as long as you want to finish, and then you stop talking while I'm talking. Carry on. I give you the chance again. Just answer this question. Who do you think it is? Are you finished? Yeah, that's my question. Good, thank you. So, as I started, by establishing from this Deuteronomy 1818, who this prophet... All right, can you tell me... Is he in trouble? Uh, Muslims believe... Uh, Muslims uh, believe that this is Muhammad. Do you believe that this is Muhammad Deuteronomy 1818? Talk to him. Do you? Don't talk, brother. Don't talk. Oh. What's the matter? Right. He's scared. So now, as Any a civilized... Muslim want to say that this is Muhammad? As... Okay, so you uh -huh. are denying the claim... That in Jerusalem 1818, you Muslims do not believe They're not going to talk. Muhammad, right? Thank you, brothers. Right. So, as a civilized individual as you are, a very intelligent civilized individual, who has finished, and now it's my turn to speak, the subject we're discussing is, you made a claim that it refers to Christ. I didn't make a claim it refers to anyone. You made a claim, and I said, okay, fine. Let's see whether it refers to Christ there. So, we started reading this text. And it said, in Deuteronomy 1818, I will raise up for them a prophet like 
you from among the fellow Israelites. So I said, okay, fine, let's understand the characteristics this individual will have. So who is speaking? He says, God, Yahweh. Fine. We moved on because he was, don't talk. So it was God who raised up a prophet. So now I'm clarifying. It talks about God is going to raise a prophet. Okay, what is a prophet? In the words of God, in the concept of God's teaching, don't talk. Thank you. Don't? Excuse me? Yeah, don't talk. Thank you, because you're finished. So now, as I'm talking, I have to treat him like a child sometimes. I'm so sorry. Even a child has more you know, manners. Right, my friend. So here, God is saying, I will raise up a prophet. So when God says he will raise someone as a prophet, it obviously, it's logical to ask, what is a prophet? And what's the relationship between prophet and God? So I asked you, because it says prophet like you, meaning prophet like Moses. So is there a prophet before Moses who was not a creation of God? I asked you. You did not answer. So I will ask you again. Do you know of any prophet that God raised who was not a creation of his? Yes or no? I am going to let you speak to answer, then I will carry on. Because it is just for you to affirm. Do you know of any prophets of God before Moses, peace be upon him, that was not a creation of God? This is not calling it a creation of God. I asked you a question. It, 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 we're talking about Deuteronomy 1818. So your question does not relate. My to question this is to understand what is a prophet. Because God is going to raise a prophet. It, did God say, I'm going to raise a God? No. He's going to raise a prophet. So it's important for you to know okay, what prophet? is a prophet. I am not willing. I'm willing to speak to you, not to you. So it's my, my jurisdiction. It's my opinion, my, my you know, wish. Is it, so, your, is it your request? Why, is it your yeah. wish? So is now, me, am I speak, as I'm speaking to you, to a prophet before Moses, do you personally know, even with this help, that there are prophets before Moses who was not a creation of God. Look, he can help you. Look, look, what do you believe that prophet is? We are not going to move on to what I believe. We are going to understand whether it was Jesus or not. We only started like okay, first Jesus, few words, and he's not even able to defend was, this Christ. Excuse me, was Jesus a prophet according to you? Firstly, was Jesus a prophet listen, according to you? Firstly. You have to now clarify. You have to explain. Look, look. Okay. What you to what me, to me, is Jesus to me. Your prophet? Listen, to me. Is Jesus your prophet? I'm going to answer okay. the question. If you say it refers to Christ, we will go and see if it fits. Do you follow so far? Who, what's Firstly, what's issue reading? Deuteronomy 18:18. 18, 18. Yeah. So here it says God will raise up a prophet. Yeah. So I'm asking you to understand what a prophet is in the eyes of God. Has there been a prophet that God raised who was not a creation of his? The answers are, there has been prophets who are not his creation. All the prophets have been God's creation. I don't know. Maybe. I don't care. Out of these five options, which one? My question to you is, no. is Jesus a prophet? Out of these five possible answers, which one? Then we move on to the next word because we haven't even finished the passage. We are stuck even on the first few words. You know, right. I don't know how to answer that question. Good. So, so Good. What I'm say let me help you then. What I'm going to say and ask you. Let me help you. No, let me help you. All the prophets of God were creation of God. So now you know. So now we establish a distinction between prophet and God. Prophets are creation of God. So here. If God is saying, I'm going to raise a prophet, it means I will raise someone who is my creation. No. Excuse me? No. <laughs> huh? Come on, man. Yeah. Explain your reasoning. Yeah. Him, Explain your reasoning. Human beings are born, not created. The trees and the earth was created. Human beings are born. But they're not creation of God. Yes. Yeah. They're not in that sense. <laughs> Good. So now, a prophet... But God is saying, I'm going to raise up a prophet, yeah. not create a prophet. Is that prophet going to be a creation that of God? That prophet has to be a human being. Exactly. 
exactly. That's, that's a human yeah, being. Yes. yes okay. Yes. Is human being creation of God? Yes. Yes. Very good. So now we move on. So we establish. So a prophet is a human being that God will raise, yeah. who is a creation of God. This human being will be from among the children of Israelites' brothers. No. Fellow, fellow Israelites. Israelites. Okay. Fair enough. No problem. From among the fellow Israelites. Right? And I will put my words in his mouth. Yeah. And he will tell them everything I command him. Yeah. That means that human being, God will put his words in his mouth Amen. and he will come speak what God commands him. Okay? But he has to be like Moses. One second. We haven't finished the verse yet. He has to be like Moses. Wait, wait. Yeah. So this individual, this individual will have God's words to him which he will speak. Yeah? That means he's not going to say, I'm speaking of my own accord. He will have to speak what God tells him to speak. Do you follow so far? Yeah. Whatever we, God commands him. How we want to recognize what God told him to speak? Remember, the individual we are dealing with is Christ. Yeah. The claim that you made. Mm -hmm. So this individual, who you say is Christ, yeah, God puts his words in his mouth and he has to speak what God commands him to speak. God does do what? Commands him. So this individual listens to the commands of God, is obedient to the command of God, subservient to the command of God. Do you understand so far? I do. Yeah. Good. Now, what happens then? He will tell them everything I command him. I myself will call to account anyone who does not listen to my words, and the prophet speaks in my name. But a prophet who presumes to speak in my name anything I have not commanded, or a prophet who speaks in the name of other gods is to be put to death. This individual, if he speaks other than what God commands, he will be put to death. That means that individual, if it's Christ or if it's Jesus in your words, is an individual that will be killed by God if he doesn't speak in the name of God or what God commands him. So now we have an individual who God raises up and he has to do exi exactly what God commands him to do. Does Christ fit that description? Yes. Okay. Can Christ speak of his own? Christ only did what he saw his father do. And said what Can Christ speak of his own? Christ, according to the Bible, mm -hmm. he said, he made a claim, he preached, to only do what my father tells me to do, sure. and only say what my father tells me to say. Sure. So, my question to you now, is he able to speak of his own? I can only tell you what the Bible says. Jesus okay. made so many statements that I and the Father are one. The Father is in me, and I in him. And he says, I can only say what the Father tells me to say. Good. So you agree. He can only say what God commands him to say. Yes. Can God the Father say things without anyone commanding him? What? Yeah, it's what. Let me repeat again. Can God the Father say anything when no one is commanding him? Can the Father say anything without the, being commanded to say anything? The Father? Yeah. He's not free to speak in his own words. The Father is God. No, I'm God. asking he you. He doesn't need anyone to command him. Can he say things without anyone commanding him to say? Can the Father say, no one commands the Father? So he can speak on his own free will? Yes. Right, without anyone commanding him? No one can command the Father. Good. So, God, now understanding what God is and who Jesus is, because you believe Jesus cannot say other than what God commands him. Yeah? Yes. So, this individual is spoken about, is it speaking about God or someone God commands? This, in, this individual is talking about the Messiah to come. Is it talking about a God? Or is it talking about who God commands? You don't get it? It's too much for you, is it? No, you're too much. Can I break it down no, no, easily? No, 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 you're too much. You really are. Yeah? Now, just get to the point. Okay, my what point you, is this. What you, what you to According say? to your belief, yeah. Christ only speaks when he's commanded to say. 
the father speaks without anyone commanding him. So now we have a distinction between God and Christ. Christ has no likeness whatsoever to God. So this individual... If he spoke something other than what God commanded him, can he do that? What you're saying is this, that if he was a prophet, this, I see where you're going now, mm -hmm. why was he put to death? No. Is that where you're going? If God is, is going to send a God, it's okay. meaningless to say, okay. now, I haven't finished my point. Let me just rewind. We before you rewind, Deuteronomy 18, before you 18, rewind, we are going in a whole different field now. No, we're not. Right? We're you establishing me, that individual is going to put to death. Can, you, can God put himself to death? God put his son to death. No, can God put God himself to death? put his son to death. Because he was disobedient? No. Right. So if God finds his son disobedient, he's going to put him to death as well, right? No. Because That's what it says here. His son is if, put disobedient. If that person... Okay. Listen to me. Read this. No, no, you read If it. that person you does it. not do what God okay. Why commands him to do... Die? Excuse Why me. Why was he put to death? Listen. Listen here. To what, now look at me, look, look at me. Look. But the prophet, at me. I'm reading. No, no. You need to, I know, I know where I, you're you, need to, you need to honor your Jesus scripture. Jesus Christ was put to death, not for his Listen. disobedience, but for our disobedience. Listen. But the prophet okay. who presumes to speak in my name, and anything I have not come up. He, 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 was not, he was not put to death he was disobedient. because of, of a false prophecy. Listen. He was put to death for no, my no. sin and for, and for everyone else's sin. If he was disobedient, he's going to put to death, according to God, right? I, how I can't say that if he was disobedient? If he, he was. He never was. Right. He never so, could so, be. So, so, he on. proved that wait, in the wait, temptation. Wait, wait, wait. So right? now you have... Now, your question... Listen. Your question... Listen. Is, no, no, we're talking about apples and pears. No, I, I haven't gone from there. So now this is a prophet. Hold a minute. This if ain't a discussion. Didn't. This okay. is interrogation. Not interrogation. Yes, it is. This is what we call but it's fine. verification. I'll, I'll go with it. Right. I'll go with it. Right. Yeah, go on. So this refers to Jesus, you said. Yeah. Okay. If Jesus disobeyed, okay. he would no, be put no, no, to no. death, Listen according to, to this, right? Listen to me. The scripture says, I will raise up for you a mm -hmm. prophet like you, Moses, mm -hmm. from among their brethren. So he has to be like Moses. Yeah. So we have to look what did he put to death? Where we have to look at Moses' ministry and Jesus' ministry. Number one. What did he put to death? Number one. They were both intercessors. Right? They stood in the gap on behalf you of... You are dealing with people. characteristics which you think it fits, that's, right? That's number one characteristic. Okay. Did right? Moses have a father? You're talking yes. about his humankind. No, no. He's very different. Come on. So now you see clearly, you bring some characteristics, and I bring characteristics, and they're different. It doesn't fit. So what we're dealing with, let's deal with what the text says. If that prophet who presumes to speak in my name, if he doesn't do Look that, we will, Wait, we will kill him. Wait, we will kill him. Now, wait. Are you saying, if Jesus, if that was Jesus, if he didn't speak what God commanded him, God will kill him? Listen to me. Listen to me. That's what the text says. Yes. Jesus himself verifies this scripture he's talking to the uh, jewish people at the time and he's saying and moses wrote about me not just did once. he not say in my name what is the name of god father no what is the name of the father at, the, at that time is yahweh no. what is the name of the father yahweh right did jesus speak in the name of yahweh yes where he came to reveal his name. Where did he speak? Open up your New Testament. No, 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 Open no, no, up no. from the he first came. gospel to the end of Revelation. Right. Where does right Jesus up, speak right in the name of Yahweh? To Jesus' ministry, when his ministry began, he told people that God, Yahweh now, is your father. Listen, you're now waffling. I'm not waffling. It says, you're not listen, listening. he needs to speak in God's name. Yes. You said the name in his father's name. You right. said the name of God is Yahweh. You said that, right? No, so Excuse me. Did you not say you, we spoke in the name of God, which was Yahweh? When he said, I talk, I'm coming in my father's name, uh, what he's saying is I come in his authority. Excuse me. I've come Listen, under his authority. No, you haven't read this verse here. Look. This prophet, look. In my name, speaks in my name. Yeah. This Meaning, name, 
He's speaking on my Don't give behalf. me a name. No, don't give me a, what it means. In the name of God. So now, excuse me. No, um, I think, I think you need to be really fair. It says this prophet has to speak in the name of God. The name of God, the name of God here, you said it's Yahweh. You claimed it. Now, open up. No, 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 I have not minute, finished no, yet. No, no, listen open me, up listen the New Testament. Me. God Show me where, from the beginning of the gospel God's to the end of Revelation, Jesus God's speaks in the name of Yahweh. Revelation is Yahweh. from Genesis to Revelation. Sorry? God, the revelation of God is from Genesis to Revelation. Listen. It says Yahweh, Jehovah, You are not and being Father, very fair, are you? No, numerous of times. We had this discussion. What is the name of the Father? Numerous of times in the what Old is Testament, the name of the Father? God refers to himself as a father. What's his name? And I will be a father to What is Israel. his name? He refers to himself as Yahweh. Good. So now we have a name of God Jehovah. from this passage. So now, in the New Testament, I'm giving you... Uh, let me finish. No, 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 no. I'm giving you all of it. Don't say no, 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 no. What is this? When you're going somewhere, you're going under their authority. Listen. Okay. This prophet has to speak in the name of God, which is Yahweh. So now, here is your final question on this passage. Where does, excuse me, he can, he can tell you. Where in the New Testament, Jesus speaks in the name of Yahweh? Okay, look. Go on. I'm gonna show you where Jesus says that Moses spoke about me. So no, this is Jesus. that's not the question I'm asking. No, no, the scripture. The final question the scripture to settle this debate, if he reverse to Christ, he should speak in the name of Yahweh. Scripture. Where does it say that Jesus speaks in the name of Yahweh? I, I want to hear the words Yahweh. No, no, you're not gonna see that. You're not gonna see that. No, then there you go, can it, cannot refer to him. Then the case is closed. We have it's dismantled it. No, like this. Dismantle nothing. The only thing you dismantle. Where does it say? Okay. Where does Christ speak in the name of Yahweh? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Establish it. We are all going to listen that Christ speaks in the name of Yahweh. Well, this is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Carry on. Claiming the first commandment. First of all, of my hero is where the Lord our God, the Lord is one. This is Jesus. Did you hear the word Yahweh? Did you hear the word Yahweh? It depends which Bible you read. If you're reading the old Hebrew Bible, mm -hmm. I think where it says Lord, I think it could maybe Jehovah. Um, you huh? you you need to understand something. Jehovah is, is, um, is a translation of Yahweh. So your your gospels, Gospel of Mark, yeah. was written in what language? It does matter. It wasn't written in Hebrew. So, in the Greek Gospel of Mark, when, when Jesus mm -hmm. spoke this, mm -hmm. he would have he would have mentioned Jehovah or Yahweh. He would have. Yes. Do we have his speech in his language? We probably have it in, in the manuscript. Yes. Which manuscript? I don't know manuscript. Which language I manuscript? I don't know manuscript. Okay, let me tell you then, if you don't know. So you have the Greek manuscripts of Mark. In the Greek manuscripts, the word Yahweh is non-existent. It doesn't You, you occur cannot there. say, just because I can't show you, I mean, right, because I'm not I learned, can show you the Greek, right? Greek I'm not text. I'm person. I can show you the Greek text. Do you want to see the Greek text? I can show you where Jesus Which says is that? that Moses wrote about me. Uh, that's not what we're debating. Yes, we are. We are discussing, we are. We are did, he, did he use the name of God Yahweh? He's not helping you, is he? Is He's rather confusing you. So, did he use the name Yahweh? In, originally, yes, he probably did. No, don't say originally, because you haven't got anything from him. The only thing that you have is this Greek Gospels. In the Greek Gospels, there is no Yahweh. Shall I show you from the Bible Hub in Telenia? Okay, which but passage that is that? No, no, no. This does not nullify. Did he speak in the name this of Yahweh? Does not nullify. Okay. Do, Can you provide an evidence that he spoke in the name of Yahweh? I probably can next week. I need a week to get the evidence together. Did right. Bring it with me? Right. So good, good. Next or, week, uh, you are going to provide evidence where Jesus spoke in the name of Yahweh. Uh, That's it. No, the discussion is postponed. No, the discussion is postponed. 
So nice talking to you until next week. Okay, never mind. No, no, shake, no problem. Next week, make sure you bring the evidence that Jesus spoke in the name of Yahweh. Okay? Let's leave it to that. Thank you. Thank you. Your excuse. Your excuse. Next week.